With uh, moisture content, it is basically, yeah, it's the residual moisture that's kind of left behind uh, in the cherry from the processing stage. There really are, there is, there is two components to the moisture content. We have free bound moisture content and we have uh, chemically bound uh, moisture content as well that's sort of locked in there. Uh, but it is a byproduct of, of the process of um, of the, of the processing of the coffee. And also coffee is a fruit, so it has a natural level of moisture content to it. Moisture content in green coffee uh, is very, very important. And we need to also look at this as part of, uh, you know, our sort of our quality control practices when all of our new green coffee comes into, uh, into the warehouse. Uh, the main thing to really think about is the range of what's accepted in terms of stable coffee. So for washed coffee, we would be expecting the coffee to, to land between 10 and 12%. Uh, moisture content and for natural processed coffees we will be looking between 10 and 13 uh, percent. One of the things that we, we, we're wanting to really understand with this is you know to ensure that what we're getting uh, is on is in spec uh, and it, you know and is at a stable level. If the moisture is less than 10 percent you know we, we obviously have a lot of problems on our hands as a, as a roaster uh, and that would obviously be the danger that we may we may have past crop coffee uh, that's arrived it could be that the coffee's not been dried correctly and so when the fruit uh, is less than 10 percent uh, it's really going to sh show lots of signs of age in the cup and this is something that's uh, quite a concern for us um, and so anything less than 10 percent would be uh, would be not of uh, desirable quality uh, anything that sort of arrives to us that's above 13 percent um, you know and we tend to find this would be more of a risk for those kind of coffees particularly here in, in Australia that would be coming you know, from uh, New Guinea or any Sumatra or any of the Indonesian sort of growing areas. And that are packed in grain pro uh, bags. We, if they are sort of coming in at a higher moisture content, uh, this will mean that the coffee is going to roast very unevenly. It is going to be a little bit unstable in the roaster for us. So it does create a different sort of set of difficulties for us to sort of get that evenness to it. Uh, we can, um, you know, my sort of recommendations if that is a case that, you know, the coffee arrives in at a higher moisture content um, above 13% is just to leave it sort of stand in the, in the roast house uh, and let that coffee naturally sort of settle down below 13%. How we test for moisture content is basically a moisture meter. So this is you know, like a really basic sort of entry level one. Um, and I think it's really quite good because uh, it runs off a couple of nine volt batteries. It's very transportable. It's very good if particularly you want to take it to origin as well, chuck this in your backpack as well. Um, so it's, it's really quite handy. Um, it's, it's simply, uh, it's very simple, sort of uh, simple to use. We just take some, a sample of the green coffee. Um, we just sort of screw the top off like I'm doing at the moment. Uh, we add the green coffee level to the top. We just put the lid back on uh, and then we just sort of screw it down so it's firm. Uh, and then quite simply we turn it on and we hit the test button here on the front and then we allow it to sort of go through its uh, testing process. Uh, and the best thing is to take three separate samples and to average the result over three tests and that will give you a reasonably accurate um, uh, sample of what the moisture content is like. If everything's, you know, for washed coffee between 10 and 12%, good to go, everything's fine. And anything between 10 and 13% for natural processed coffees, also good to go uh, and uh, no alarm bells ringing. But this does uh, form one part of the assessment uh, to your what should be your green bean evaluation or your green quality QC. Uh, so definitely moisture content, uh, looking at your density, doing your green, your green grading and screen analysis as well uh, before you then go into uh, to roasting the coffee.